Once upon a time, there was a king in India, King Raghavendra, who simply loved to solve puzzles. One day, he received a gift from his best friend, King Vilasrao. Your Highness, I bring you a gift, my king, His Royal Highness, King Vilasrao. Aha! It must be another puzzle. Your king and I have solved many together when we were at the Gurukul. Please make yourself at home in the palace whilst I write a reply for Vilas. Uh, thank you, Your Highness. See if you can find a difference in the three dolls. Thank you, Vilas, and I assure you I shall send you the answer soon. The king laid out the three dolls on a table and examined them. He spent hours measuring every aspect of the dolls, but he could find no difference at all between them. The king wondered what he was missing, and finally, after much thought, he summoned the wisest man of his court. See if you can spot any difference at all between the three dolls. I shall do my best, your highness. The wise man examined the three dolls in every possible detail, but he too could make out no difference in them. I am sorry, your highness, but in my opinion, all three dolls are exactly alike. How can this be? Maybe your friend was joking, your highness. My friend never jokes when it comes to puzzles and riddles. Our court jester might have done a better job. Just then, the court jester, who was passing by, heard this and entered the room. I was passing by and I heard you take my name. What well, would you like, sir, a joke, a dance, or a game? Ugh. If the wise cannot get it, then maybe a jester can. Can you find any difference in the three dolls? They feel the same. They look the same. They weigh the same. They smile the same. They even sound the same. Their sound is silence. And that too sounds the same. Absolutely no difference at all, Your Highness. Maybe the puzzle is a joke then. My friend never jokes when it comes to puzzles and riddles. Go away! The king was so desperate that he allowed anyone who wished to try to solve the puzzle, but nobody succeeded. One day, an old storyteller was brought in his presence. Die here! There is a puzzle that bothers you, Your Highness. So, storytellers solve puzzles now, do they? Maybe this story is about a puzzle, Your Highness. Or maybe there is a story in the puzzle. <laughs> <sighs> Try if you will. The story requires a narrator. And a listener, Your Highness. Uh, so you are asking me to stay? Yes, Your Highness. And all I need is three strands of hair. Three strands of hair? Why? Well, things that are the same on the outside could be very different on the inside. Now, would you please pull out three strands of your hair and give them to me one at a time? You sound like you are ordering me. Maybe I am, but I do not ask for anything unreasonable, do I? No. Take this. Your Highness. Take this. Difference. What does this mean? Well, the first doll is of the wise man. 
He listens, taking in every word and keeping it deep within his heart. The second doll belongs to the fool. What he hears goes in one ear and out from the other. The third doll, well, is the storyteller. What she hears, she passes on to others. So, which kind of person is the best, you think? It depends on the situation, your highness. Sometimes there are things that should be kept a secret. At times there are things like gossip that don't deserve any attention. And then there are things like stories or knowledge or lessons that must be shared with everyone so that all can benefit from them. It is not the dolls by themselves that are good or bad. It depends on which doll you use in what situation. Oh, thank you so much. This is your reward, my lady. Thank you. So the king sent the reply of the puzzle to his friend, thanking him for the wonderful lesson of the puzzle. Every time he had to decide on what to do with a piece of information, whether to keep it a secret or to ignore it or to share it, he always thought of the three dolls and that helped him decide. <laughs>